Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update, recording this on Sunday, August 11th. Let's start with a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into my trades for the week. Uh, starting with VIX. So Sunday night last week and then into Monday had that massive volatility spike uh, based on a couple different factors, but primarily the Japanese yen carry trade. Uh, had that spike all the way up to over 65, settled in on Monday at a little over 38, and has trailed down, closing Friday at 20.37. Obviously, the indices uh, dropping during that time. S&P on Monday dropped and then had a decent bounce, and then big swings back and forth, ending the week higher. SP uh, S and P futures ending at fifty three sixty five, Nasdaq similar price action, Russell pretty similar as well, and the Dow pretty similar as well. Gold uh, a little flush and then a bounce back. Uh, gold's actually heading back up towards its all time high of twenty five twenty two. Silver not nearly as strong in the last few weeks. Uh, notes and bonds had that little flush higher and then pull back a little bounce on Friday, but bonds and notes lower with the 10 year yield popping back up, settling at 3.937. Oil, a little weakness early and then three big up days to end the week. Natty Gas, which has been in a quite a little bit of a free fall. Uh, had a little bit of a bounce this week, settling in at 2.61. Soybeans, red for the week. Corn, red for the week. Wheat, kind of sideways. Uh, the Euro had a couple big push up days early in the week. Actually, that was Friday. Monday was a big up day and then kind of trailed off towards the end of the week. The, the uh, British Pound week early and then strong later in the week and bitcoin futures settling at 61,100 had a huge flush i saw it was down over 20 percent in one day on monday at one point but pretty big bounce back to close above 61,000. so that's the market let's jump into my trades that i took for the week starting with okay so zero dte uh, I don't think I took any AM trades with the volatility. I, I stayed out and waited for things to uh, to move around a little bit. Yeah, no AM trades, no FOMC trades, obviously. My 1DTE hedge, which has been killing it, absolutely got crushed this week. Uh, and in fact, the first two that I took should not have been taken because my filter is if VIX is over 25 not to take. I did manually push those, ended up being losers. Uh, so three losers, a little over 9K on those this week. So not a great follow through on the performance I've seen on those, but it's to be expected. Uh, let's see. Power hours had a couple of power hour trades, a couple of up days. Or excuse me, one day had an up day power hour. Uh, all three tranches, they were losers. One was a small loser. Tranche two and three got stopped out. And then one other day had an up day for tranche one. Uh, so minus 4,400 on those. Uh, no PM trade. My price action trades did it, did really well. Uh, 13,680 on 14 trades, just three losers. Uh, so those did really well this week. Uh, Ricks had a couple of Ricks. It's just doing them small. Three winners. A little over a thousand bucks on those. Uh, no vol crush. One and two D. I think I just had the one one DTE that I transformed part of. Yeah, so I've still got. So I closed out part of that books and profits and then uh, transformed uh, two of the other ones. And then that's it for zero DTE. So let's see. Dynamic butterflies didn't have any of those. Dynamic calendars. 
a little over 3,900, had uh, three trades. What I was doing is with the volatility, I was not playing any overnight double calendars, and I didn't enter my normal Friday ones last week. So these were all intraday, booked the same day. They were all one, two DTE double calendars that I took and just and closed them out before the end of the day. So all three of those worked well. Uh, I did enter a few calendars on Friday, a six, seven, a three, six, and a three, five. So those are open trades. And then option selling, I think I just opened one. Yeah, I just opened one ES Hedgehog, no closing trades there. Portfolio margin, just had one trade. That was a golden shark booked uh, within a day for a little over 1100 And tr lastly, transformers. Uh, just a little bit red due to Friday's Magic Mahomes was a loser. So had one, uh, finally got filled with the volatility. Those were tough to get filled at the end of the day. Uh, Thursday booked a winner for 2000 and Friday, the loss was 43.20 and then had some other uh, other winners for Transformers. So overall green week. Look forward to some more volatility this week. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Take care.